Well, hello, Captain Clumsy here, and uh, today I'm going to be taking this handlebar mounted clock which I had on my motor guzzy and I'm going to spray paint it black uh, just in the process of preparing it so masking off the areas I don't want spraying and uh, I'm going to clean it up and rub it down with some wet and dry just need to give a key first of all I'm going to do primer secondly I'm going to do the satin black before that I've got to get it all prepared we're nearly there just masking off some areas a little bit more to do now and then we'll be done we can get painting i wonder how the professionals do it if any professional paint sprayers are watching this do tell because uh, i'm finding it very fiddly and then we'll be done just a little bit more and then the kids don't do this at home unless you've got an adult with you masked off that'll do not rocket science is it now we're going to apply a little bit of something just to remove the greasy bits from the adhesive use a thinner of your choice or a solvent of your choice just going to take off the areas i'm only really doing the outside of this i'm not doing the bottom I'm doing any other areas because they're not going to be seen right put that out of the way some gloves on and let's bring you in a bit closer right gloves on time to prime shake two minutes oh grit the loot the toothbrush is there for a reason right gloves on let's get the rattle can lid off and they say spray in light coats hang on Coat number two. Right, let's go. Right, all done now. Leave it to harden overnight, then on with the satin black. Right, step three, two minutes of shaking. Let's go. Now for some spraying. Coat number one in place. Next coat, 15 minutes. Then we should be done. Coat two, satin black. Okay, one more coat. Do three coats. Right, now to clear the nozzle. Coat number one, two, three, satin black. All done, clearing nozzle, wait 24 hours, and then put it on. Right, so here it is. It is now dried, and the finish looks pretty good to me. A couple of very tiny, tiny little runs, but it's good enough one eye. Let's see if I can get the masking tape off. There, seems to come off relatively well. There it is. Not a bad finish. Ready to go on the bike. Let's get it done. So here it is, the finished item. Now I've just put a little bit of red electrician's tape over where the grub screw comes out because I'm hoping not to damage the handlebar. So let's see if it will slip over. And I think I'll put it. So that's over there. Okay, so it's on. Unfortunately, I've had to take off the bit of tape because it couldn't quite go over and I didn't want to push it. So I'll have to be very gentle about tightening this up. See if we can get it pretty much in the middle. 
not far off. Level there with the clocks. And that's literally all I need to do. Oh, just enough to hold it. Might have to adjust that later. But it's on now. We can see we can fit the clock itself. A one clock mechanism to be fitted. Yes, we can just slide that in there. It's going. It's going. We're in. There we go. One matching clock mechanisms with black surround. So that is Captain Clumsy does yet another maintenance job and doesn't fail. Hurrah! Thanks so much for watching and please, please, please like, comment and subscribe. That means a lot to me. Comments are great and I hopefully will see you in the next one. Bye for now.